Good evening, uh, dear viewers. This is George from Ireland, and here I am in Moscow, standing uh, across the street from the Russian Historical Society. You can probably read it up there, what it says. Uh, so this is a government-backed uh, organization. Anyway, what's going on there right now is a Kim Philby exhibition. Uh, in case you don't know, uh, Kim Philby was famous, or perhaps infamous, for being a British intelligence uh, officer who spied for the Soviet Union. So he's born in 1912 in India, then a British colony. His father was a high-ranking member of the Indian Civil Service, and uh, his father was the first socialist in the ICS, so they said. His father had been to Westminster and Cambridge. Kim Philby himself went to Westminster and Cambridge. Um, Harold Adrian Russell were his forenames. Kim was just a nickname, but he was universally known as Kim, possibly after uh, the um, eponymous spy in the Rudyard Kipling novel. So um, it was uh, at Cambridge in the uh, 30s that Kim Philby uh, converted to communism. And it was open about that. He's a member of the Apostles, uh, which was a um, secretive society uh, for intellectuals at Trinity. Um, he graduated in economics in the 2-2. He went down, he worked as a journalist. He went to Austria in 1934. There had been an attempted uh, Nazi putsch, and he married a young uh, Jewish divorcee. He said partly to help her get out of the country. But anyway, that marriage didn't last. Um, uh, but anyway, by the mid-30s, he was supplying a lot of information to the uh, Soviet Secret Service. And in 1936, he went to Spain as a freelance uh, journalist. How did he support himself? It didn't stack up. Uh, because he was being funded by the NKVD, the Soviet Secret Service. Um, what else about him? Uh, so then in the Second World War, he joined the British Foreign Intelligence Service, um, MI6, and uh, he did a lot of work for the Soviet Union there, um, and informed of all the Allied plans. He was posted to Istanbul just after the Second World War. I won't go through his complicated um, private life, but he was married four times, I think it was. Um, and. Uh, Anyway, he was in Washington in the late 40s, more or less exposed, had to leave the intelligence service, and somehow managed to get back into it, was in Beirut, still having the Soviets, when he was finally, finally uh, unmasked in 1963, and the British authorities let him go. So he fled to Moscow, and he, he lived out the rest of his days here, dying in 1988. Indeed, he's, uh, buried in the, he's buried in the city somewhere. So that is Kim Philby, and he's lauded by many in the Soviet Union to this day which is why um, there's a, a three-part series on television on Pierrevom, that's Channel 1, coming up about him. And that is enough from the Russian Historical Society.